Well, I just got done creating my Scottish home. Um, as you can see, it's made of cobblestone with wood and thatch roof. You come inside, you'll see I got my stove, a crafting table, a bed, a chest, my table and chair. Um, got my lights. This would be very similar to a standard old-fashioned Scottish home from what I have been able to research. The next thing I got to do is build a um, kind of like a little shroud for this, a structure to protect this since this is kind of now an important part of me. Um, well, not me, it's an important part of my Um, world here. Basically, I'm just going to build a little There we go. So there's my external chest. Now I cleared out this whole area right here. I am going to build a small little farm and put some animals in there. Um, just starting off, I am going to do, I believe, just some chickens and some sheep. That's kind of a Scottish thing to do. Greetings everybody, I have been busy working on the Pagan Minecraft adventure. As you know, the last time I had built my house and my little shelter for that chest, I have also built my fruit cellar right here. I gotta put in a couple shelves right on here so I can store all my goods right here. I've made a sacred space. This is just simply a small obelisk with four different colored stones. Um, green, this is an emerald, it's for earth. Uh, lapis lazuli with blue, so there's my water. They call this a nether rock, if I remember right. It's more reddish, so it's perfect for fire. And that's supposed to be a diamond, which is generally clear for air. Here is my go my barn and my little pasture area. Get down, sheep. I got a couple sheep. My chickens are. Oh, there's my one chicken. Wonder where the other one went to. But anyway, so I'd have my little for farm animals. And here is my garden. Um, it's supposed to be like corn and some other stuff and right here are some flowers um, the flowers are to represent different herbs you know and also because they're kind of adds color makes it pretty and if you can't make something look nice you know you're wasting your time and forgot the flowers around my little sacred spot here Make, kind of make a circle and so there's my circle around my sacred spot and you know my hole so pretty happy with everything that I've created so far and next it's working on the various temples and we'll see that in the next part of the video Hello everybody. Well, here I am with my continuing project. Um, in this chapter, I just want to show you what other things I've done. As you notice, I had my uh, fruit cellar, my house, 
my little ch outside chest shelter, my barn, and my temple, my outside sacred spot, and my garden. So it's pretty good. Um, I found my areas for my three main temples, and then for city. The first place we're going to go to is my earth temple. Uh, I found this one first. I was just exploring around trying to figure out where I could put everything. I saw this he he cave hid behind this tree and I thought, okay, I gotta check this out. And lo and behold, I'm going through here and putting up my torches and I see this room right here. And I'm going, cool. There was a chest in here. And I'm just going, alright. Oops, wrong way. Like I said, I get lost in here. And then I went to the end and there was another room with it, two more chests in it. And I'm just going, okay, this is definitely a room that I need to... This is an area I need to mark off. And it's deep in the Cyber Earth. And so this became my location for my Cyber Earth Temple. Oops. And that's just a nice little underground waterfall. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do in here. I don't know how much I want to change it, but that's going to be a nice little place for um, like Earth type cybernetic escapes. The next place we're going to go to is my air temple. And this was fun and a challenge to make the highway to this. Um, this pathway was created so I don't get lost. I get lost easy when I play Minecraft. Stay on the pathway. We are, see, this is how far we traveled. Right there is the house. And right there, back there is a flat area with a tree. That is where we're going. I did not want my temples to be stacked up on top of each other. And so... I... Air Temple. Can't found this area and I just love it. Nice, large, flat area. Ooh. And that's the other reason why right there. But I mean look at this view. Absolutely beautiful. You can see how the trails lit up. But from here you can watch the moon set and the sunset. You go over here. Do, 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 do. And you can see the moonrise and the sunrise. Just kind of beautiful. And so we we'll work our way back down so we can go to the water temple. I'm using the premise of the way the Celts viewed everything. Uh, they did not divide everything up like elementally, like the Greeks did. You know, you know, earth, air, fire, and water, and spirit. The Celts believed in the three realms, which was sky, land, and water or ocean. And so that's the premise I'm using. And. Now to the water temple, which I think. No, don't want to do that. There it is. I got to make a pathway and hopefully I don't have to edit too many trees. It is right here so that I can be kind of underwater watch the water and I made a little area here where I can actually go 
into the water and swim. And be with the squid. <laughs> So that is what I've worked on uh, so far you know, for my temples. The other project that I've, part of the project I've been working on is the uh, pre-made temple that they made in the desert area. We're going over there now. Um, as I was saying in the previous section of this video, um, I was thinking to turn it into a city to remind me that you know, and other pagans say, you know, we can, we're not supposed to be hermits. We're not supposed to hide from society. We have to be a part of society. And so, I have made three homes so far. I plan to make about uh, fifteen more. And uh, one thing I learned with Minecraft, um, if it has a finished floor and doors, the villagers will go inside of it. If it does not have it, the villagers will not go into it. And so, you see, doors and the floor, and there they are. I think that's kind of cool. So I got to rebuild, well, build more to this little village. Um, houses and some purpose-built rooms, something like a blacksmith and such. Um, so I'll see you guys on the next video. Always remember, when you're creating something, don't just build it for purpose. Add some beauty to it, like the flowers. You know, going solely purpose is ugly. Adding flowers and decorations adds passion and love. And there's not enough love in this world. Okay? So take care, people. Be at peace.